Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about getting rid of clutter in our kitchen. So our kitchens house a lot of stuff. There is tons of stuff in our kitchen that we need. Our dishes, utensils, pots and pans, bakeware, and all of our food. But our kitchens can also house a lot of clutter and things that we don't need. So I thought I would go through today and talk about all of the things that we can declutter, all of the things that we can get rid of in our kitchen so that we can have a tidy place, a place where we can easily find everything that we need and we don't have cabinets and drawers jammed with things that we don't. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you have cookbooks that you never use and never look at, it's time to set them free. Keep the ones that you love and you use and you enjoy looking at for inspiration. I have one that I like because I love the pictures of the food and it brings me joy. But if you never look at them and you have tons of them especially, they take up so much room. I used to collect cookbooks. You guys know I love to cook. And at my old house, I had a really small kitchen and they took up so much room in my cabinet that I finally decided to get rid of all of the ones that I never used and I haven't regretted it at all because I wasn't using them. So definitely set those cookbooks free that you aren't using. If you have recipes that you've clipped out of magazines or printed off the internet or are handwritten, put them all in one place. You don't need to you know, get everything perfectly organized right now, but if you just put them all in a folder or binder right now, that way they're not all over your counter or some pinned to your fridge, some on the counter, some in a drawer, and everywhere just gather them up and put them in one place when you have time if you'd like to organize them better I do have a recipe binder video and I'll link that below in case you're interested but basically you just want to get rid of any recipes that are lying around that you don't even use and remember that most likely you can find that recipe on the internet So if you have coffee mugs, glassware, cups that you never use, it's time to let them go. These things can take up a lot of room as well. So if you have coffee mugs that you never use because you don't like the shape of it, it's too small for the, the cup of coffee that you want to have or you just don't like the way it feels, I'm a coffee mug person so I totally get that. Or if you have glasses that are scratched up or chipped or cups that you got from a restaurant or cups that are stained up that no one ever uses, it's time to let go of those. If you have a ton of oven mitts and hot pads, you really only need a few. Unless you have big family dinners where multiple people are cooking, you really only need a few. I have an oven mitt and a couple of hot pads because I don't host the big holidays yet, so I don't ever have like a lot of people cooking in my kitchen. But these things get stained up, they get kind of ratty, so go through your hot pads and oven mitts and get rid of any that you aren't using or that have gotten really gross looking. It's time to get rid of the condiments and food in your kitchen that no one eats. So if it's an opened condiment, probably have to toss it. If it's unopened food, you can definitely donate it to a food pantry, but you're never going to eat it. So if you bought a dressing and everyone in the house hates it, it's just taking up room in your refrigerator. Also look for things that have expired. I always write the date that I opened, like chicken broth or beef broth, and that way I know after several days to toss it. Sometimes if we don't check for a while, things can expire like mayonnaise and ketchup and all of those condiments or even food in our pantry. So it's time to get rid of all of the food that you don't like and don't eat and the stuff that has expired. Okay, if 
you have small appliances that maybe you bought thinking it would be a good idea and you never ever use it like an ice cream maker or something like that. If you use it and you have it, definitely keep it. But if you have these things and you never use them, they take up quite a bit of room, so it's time to let them go. If you were gifted a small appliance and you never use it or you don't like it, definitely donate it because someone might be looking for that particular thing and you can let someone else have it and take it off your hands. We have probably all been guilty of buying little kitchen gadgets that promise to make our work in the kitchen easier or just little fun things that we see. I used to love to look at kitchen gadgets and some of them are incredibly useful. But if you have things that you never use, it's time to let them go. If you have spatulas or wooden spoons that have seen better days or are really stained or are starting to split if it's a wooden spoon or something, it's time to let them go. If you have multiples of things that you don't need, like a vegetable peeler, again, if you have multiple people in your home cooking for the holidays, you might need a couple of those, but generally you only need one of each thing. It is time to let go of those bowls with missing lids or those lids with missing bowls. It happens to all of us and you're like, what happened to the lid? It probably accidentally got thrown away or something. And sometimes we have a lid and we're like, where on earth? Did the bowl go to it? Um, so definitely let go of those things. And if you have stained plastic ware that has seen better days, it's time to let it go. If you keep a lot of uh, containers from food that you purchase at the store in like a plastic container or a jar and you don't use that many or don't need that many, it's time to clear those out and make room for the things that you do want to keep in your cabinet. We've probably all purchased cleaning products that we tried and we just didn't like, either the smell or it just didn't work the way we wanted it to. Definitely let go of those things. You can maybe pass it on to someone who might like it or make sure that you dispose of it properly, but those bottles can take up a lot of room in our cabinets and if we're not going to use them, we definitely need to set them free. Old ratty dish towels and dishcloths need to go. So if you want to put them in your cleaning cloth basket or something, then that would be great. But you really only need so many dishcloths and so many dish towels. And if they're all stained and looking pretty ratty, it's time to either replace them or just use the ones that aren't so ratty and aren't all stained because they just take up a lot of room and we tend to keep things that we don't need, so it's time to let those go too. It is time to set those nasty cookie sheets and baking pans free. Also, let go of those particular baking pans and cake pans that you bought that you never ever use, or maybe you have a cake pan for making a cake in a certain shape for one of your kids' birthday parties or something, and you know you're never ever going to make that Hello Kitty cake again or that train cake again. It's time to let go of those. You can definitely donate those things. Someone might be happy to find it at Goodwill or wherever you like to donate whatever you have around you, but we don't need all of those things. They just take up room in our cabinets, so it's time to let go of those. It's also time to let go of expired spices or spices that have been in our cabinet for years, which are probably expired, that we never use. Sometimes you buy something for one recipe and you don't wanna throw it away because you spent money on it, but if you're never going to use it, 
well, you've already spent the money and it's just taking up space and then you have to sift through it to find the spices that you do use. So it's time to let go of those as well. Paper can be a big one. So one thing that we do is we don't really bring papers into the kitchen. So we have a spot for everything and that's a whole different video. And I've talked about a lot of different things in other videos. So I'll try to link some of those below. But if you do bring a lot of paper into your kitchen, just look around for old school lunch menus, school schedules, sports schedules, invitations, restaurant coupons, grocery coupons, restaurant menus that you might not need, and just the sales ads that you might have gotten from grocery stores that you don't need or, or they're no longer relevant, and get rid of all of that paperwork. Definitely recycle it. If you do have, say, a lot of um, restaurant menus or restaurant coupons, you can put all of those in a folder, arrange your school papers that you might need on your refrigerator if that's where you like to keep them or have a bulletin board, or you can put them all in a binder or a folder, whatever you like to do. But the main point is getting rid of the clutter and getting rid of the stuff that you no longer use. I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely let me know if you would like me to do other rooms and talk about the clutter that we can get rid of in those rooms as well. And please, please, please do not feel like you have to do all of this in one day, especially if you have a lot to get rid of. I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed at all. So you could just do one thing a day or even a couple a day if you don't have tons to get rid of, but definitely don't feel like you need to go in your kitchen and get rid of all of these things in one day. I don't want it to be overwhelming at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys.